This is Cheap Kairos, my completely free to play account that I am not allowed to spend any money on. My goal is to max out the account as fast as possible. Today is day 300 and what did I just do? 366. I'm getting worse and worse at doing that every time. Today is also day one of year two on the account. Every single day we get a Brawl-A-Day freebie. So let's open this up and see what it is. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, cool. But we had some remaining chroma credits and these are all getting converted into regular credits. That's actually helping out with the next chromatic or with the next mythic brawler actually, which I've been curious to see where these epics get fit in. So, okay. So some of the chromatic brawlers got converted into epics and some into mythics. So it's actually gonna be pretty nice that I'm gonna have some epic brawlers built to unlock. Cause I was worried for a while there that it was just gonna be mythic and legendary brawlers. Although in my last episode, I did unlock three mythic brawlers and two legendary brawlers. <laughs> Some of them were chromatics and got converted, but still absolutely insane. But we also have the hypercharge unleash challenge. So over the next few days, I'm going to work on getting this unlocked. I just got my first win streak. That's plus two trophies. That, that, well, plus one trophy. That's cool. I like that. And it just increased to plus two trophies. There, there we go. Plus three. <laughs> These win streaks are fun. It's day 367. Let's see what today's gift is. <gasps> oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see my disappointment when I realized it was a random star drop? <laughs> it's a legendary. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is this going to be? I'm hoping for a hypercharge. Or <laughs> Firefly Rico. I'll take it, I guess. I went from unimpressed to excited to unimpressed. <laughs> you know, what? I don't have a skin for Rico, though. So having just one skin on every brawler would be really awesome. So I'll take it. And that's a really cool skin to have, honestly. It is day 368. Today, we have something very special for a Brawl Days freebie. It's this bright gold yellow package. It is the newest brawler in the game. Miko. Oh, yes. it glitched. I got him. <laughs> OK, I was like worried for a second there. Okay, 17 out of 23 Mythic Brawlers. Very cool. It's actually kind of insane how many new brawlers I have that have basically zero trophies. I mean, yesterday I played a little bit of Cordelius, but that's it. I don't even have enough resources to upgrade him very much, which is crazy. I mean, normally I would have, but we've upgraded so many new brawlers. I don't even have roughs at power nine yet. So it's probably not going to happen until I open up all these bonus rewards, but we still have 20 days left in the season. So it just might be a while before I do that. We got a Mythic here. Okay, what's going to be? 200 credits. That's a lot of credits. I'm, I'm happy with that. I uh, have been playing against a lot of Mikos. <laughs> it's actually pretty crazy if you think about it. Stay 369. We got a mythic star drop and it's going to be more credits. I feel like I'm unlocking new brawlers just way too fast now. I mean, I'm not really complaining, but it's like so fast. I can't even keep up with my new brawlers. Like I can't even upgrade Miko yet. <laughs> okay, uh, I it is day 370. I was tapping quickly through a star drop and I got Rico's multi-ball launcher gadget for free, which is not terrible. It's not the best. I, I don't prefer using it very often, but there are some cases where it's useful. Plus that's a thousand coins that I don't have to use to max out my account. So that's great. I will very happily take it, which I should mention that they actually reworked some of the star drops so now you can get gadgets from mythic gears and then legendary star drops are even better and can give you star star powers and hyper charges they had to change a little bit of the resources to make that work out but uh i will take gadgets from mythic gears that's great it is day 372 we've got our mega pig here to open up we got bling, we got coins, we got power points, obviously, and we've got a bunch of star drops. These are always fun to open, honestly. 20 of them in a row, even if most of them are uh, rares, I'm fine with that. You know what I mean? Like, you just get so many resources from this. Obviously, I don't want all of them to be rares, but you've got, tw you got 20 of them. You know they're not all going to be rares. And if you got 20 rares in a row, you are the luckiest person in this whole game or the only luckiest one of the two. I don't know how you look at it. <laughs> Can I, can I get a mythic? I was just going to say, can I get a mythic? In fact, I did say it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Today's one of those days where, you know, my brain just cannot keep up. But uh, that was a success. Look at all that. That's fantastic. Plus, we got a B pin. Okay, it is day 373. We have another free hypercharge. I really hope it's for Dynamite because Dynamite's already maxed out. And I do not have enough resources for me to max out another brawler right now. I have so many new brawlers. I can't even get them all to power nine yet. So Dynamite, who's already maxed out, would be great. Oh, please be Dynamite. I mean, any brawler is great. I will eventually get them up to power 11, but I want to use the new hypercharge now, right? Obviously. Let's see what it is here. Oh, dude, it happened. Oh, I can't believe it. That's so good. 
Oh, that is so good. I honestly would have been so disappointed if I would have gotten it for Miko. So that's great. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, that's so awesome. Oh, wow, that's so awesome. I cannot believe it. That's so good. Look at that now. Oh, we've got seven hypercharged max brawlers. <laughs> we only have 14 brawlers left to unlock. Oh, this is so great. We also got our uh, PowerPoints from the shop. Sweet. We got a freebie. I'm pretty sure this is just a couple of Miko pins, so I'm not that excited about it. Not like Dynamite's hypercharged. We got some resources in the trophy road. We'll collect some credits from uh, Shelly's Mastery, some power points from Rosa's, some coins from Tix, and now I could upgrade Miko to power seven if I wanted to, but I, I have something. Oh, oh man, this is like, I've been thinking about this for days. I haven't even told you guys yet. I have been really heavily considering what is going to be the best way for me to actually spend my gems since the new Brawl Pass cannot be purchased with free gems. And I think, I think I've figured it out. I've been analyzing special offers and level up offers. These aren't good examples because these are just cosmetics. And I've been weighing the pros and cons of a bunch of different special offers and their values that they provide. I mean, my goal here is to get as many coins per gem as I possibly can because I have so many power points. That's not a concern at all. It's really coins. And there is a special offer that I can rely on to provide me Honestly, the best gold per gem value. And no, it is not coin packs. Do not buy these coin packs, okay? For example, the best one that gives you 30% extra right here, that gives you 13 coins per gem. Whereas these hypercharged special offers, that's the equivalent of 5,000 coins. Divide that by the 79 gems that it costs. And I know you can't see that on my calculator, that is 63 coins per gem. There is a chance that some special offers will come into the shop that will provide more value than these, but there's no way to plan for them. And I don't know that that's going to happen very often, if ever. These hypercharge, not these collector packs. No, don't get these collector packs. They're actually really good if you are willing to spend money on the game, like to just get a max out brawler. Like that's really good, even if you exclude all the cosmetics. But it is not as good a value as these hypercharges here. I mean, you can see right there, it says five times value versus seven times times value. Even though I don't trust those value stamps, like they're not always what I consider to be like accurate, you know, maybe even not even honest, but they do provide a baseline. Seven times value is just more than set five times value. There's no way around it. And honestly, I think that these are the best ways to do it now. Oh, this is the hardest part. Okay. I am at 150 gems and it costs 169 gems for me to purchase this season's Brawl Pass. It's the last Brawl Pass I could possibly get. And I know that it's not here yet, but there is going to be a gem holiday freebie. I already know Supercell told me and uh, it's not enough gems. It's 10 gems. I need 19. I've also collected all the gems from the free side of the Brawl Pass. There is no way for me to get uh, nine free gems. There's just no way. So I'm going to be spending my gems. And that's weird because, I mean, the only other time I've spent gems was on a, a Brawl Pass because that was the best way to spend your gems before. But now I genuinely do think that the hypercharged special offers are probably the best way to spend gems. I mean, I can't read the future. I can't tell you what's going to happen. Maybe something will be better, but I would be surprised if it's better than this. Also, just to put this out here, um, do not buy XP doublers. They're basically hot trash with the next Brawl Pass, but more info on that, I don't know when. Now, this gives me another conundrum, okay? Here's the problem here. I can't even purchase this unless I have that Brawler at power 11. <laughs> it's like, hey, you have to either buy the collector's pack or you have to have the Brawler at level 11 in order for you to get it in the first place. So as much as I want to upgrade Miko, uh, I think he's gonna have to wait just a little bit longer. So the question is, which of these hypercharges do I actually get? Um, you know, Fang is probably the strongest and he's really competitive right now, but he's not my favorite to play, even though he is really good. And I can't even upgrade Miko in time for me to get him there. Um, so really it comes between like Leon and Edgar, who I'm probably not gonna be playing, and uh, Crow. And I really like Crow. Crow is a very fun brawler. And so I think that I'm gonna go for it. Uh, but the problem is, is I, I don't even think I have enough coins for me to get Crow up to max level right now. We'll go ahead and upgrade him once and Oh, we're still missing so much. Oh, and I hate opening these bonus rewards before the end of the season. But these special offers are only going to be up here for another six days. I don't think that there's going to be, unless I get crazy lucky on some star drops. So here we go. I'll see you in a second. <laughs> okay, I had to open up 27 of them. That should be enough. We're actually getting really close to unlocking Terra. That's crazy. Not enough to gem. Don't do this. Don't spend your gems here. It's better off, honestly, just buying hypercharges. And with that... Crow is maxed out. 
Oh, we don't have enough for his star powers and gears yet. Wow, there's so many things I want to buy right now. But we do have the gems for his utility knives hypercharge. So we are going to be purchasing that, which feels weird and crazy, but that's where we're at in this series. Just so interesting that the best way to spend gems is changing. And uh, oh, oh. Oh, look at this. Oh, we get to do it again. So we have six days, 14 hours, and that will happen on day 15 where we should, uh, I think, I think we'll be able to get the gems and buy another. But in order for us to do that, we have to max out another one of these brawlers. We have to get them to power 11 so we can buy the offer in the first place. Oh man, this is, this is interesting. I mean, Leon's <laughs> zero trophies. He's, I mean, he's power nine, so that would work. Ah, uh, man, here's the issue though. I could just grind out the mastery, but it is the holiday season. Also, my birthday is tomorrow. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to have the time to grind out enough mastery. I, we'll have to see how this works. If I'm not able to get enough coins to upgrade another brawler to power 11 to then purchase the hyper charge. It's not the end of the world. We will have more hypercharges in future updates, and they might even be for brawlers that I really care about or even brawlers that I already have maxed out. And the gems aren't going anywhere, right? But with that, <laughs> we, give, we got two brawlers <laughs> to power 11 with their hypercharge today. That is so wild. We got Dynamike and Crow, although Crow still needs his uh, gears and star powers and, uh, you know, but uh, that's pretty high. This is progressing so fast. This is insane. I mean, this account's just barely over a year old now, and I'm still shocked at how quickly it's progressing. This is awesome. Day 374, we got a, oh, <laughs> a legendary. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Okay, I'm so excited. What is this? Wait, is this this? Yeah, this is the second one that I have for Griff. I like Griff. Um, Will I use this though? I, I don't think I'm going to use this very much. It is 2000 coins that I get to save though. So that's pretty good. Th there are some situations where I might use it. His other star power is uh, overall better, even though it seems like more boring, but yeah. I might use it. In other news, I got 50 credits from Trophy Road, which is bringing me just a little bit closer to Terra. And we got some free pins, okay? This one was actually from a sponsor video that I did. It was the three life Nuzlocke challenge. It did not get the number of views that it should have. It's a really good video if you haven't seen it. And this one is uh, from Brawl Talk. So that's cool. I think I will equip it to my player pin though, because uh, it is part of my channel. It's kind of cool and exciting. We also have a Brawl Day freebie here that's probably just going to be a rare star drop, but uh, yeah. Called it. Day 376, we have a mythic star drop here, and it is... What? <laughs> the thing is, I almost always think it's a skin, and this time I felt like I knew it was a new brawler. I, I could tell it was like, I was pretty sure that's Colette. I don't have Colette. I know I don't have Colette, because I don't like playing Colette very much, but that's still really exciting. Dude, I can't believe this. I have so many new brawlers right now, it's nuts. I still haven't even been able to upgrade Miko yet. He's still power one. And we're actually really close to unlocking Terra. Today we also have a couple of brawl days actually that uh, I haven't opened. I think that they're just, oh! Oh, <laughs> we're so close. Okay, what is this? Are you freaking kidding me, dude? This is, this is insane. Oh my gosh, okay. Dude, I would be happy with credits here. I would be, or just a new brawler. I mean, either way, we're getting a new brawler, right? You know what? This is a great star power. I am good with this. This is good. This is really good. Oh, yeah. I just maxed out Crow. and I didn't have a star power for him. Dude, this is like the best day. This is great. I mean, this is the star power that I would have gone with. So this is actually really hype. All I have to do to max him out now or get a couple of gears. But I do still need to save my resources for, uh, yeah, Miko and Colette. And uh, I, could, I could unlock another brawler today. I, I just realized I have enough of these bonus rewards that I can do it. Let me finish my daily progression and then uh, we'll see. Okay, let's see if we can get some uh, some tokens. No, we cannot. That's Or some credits. There we go. That's fine. But we can go ahead and open up eight of these and uh oh come on this is so slow <laughs> there's one there's two why is this so slow this used to not be this slow oh this is painful what is going on here well i'll see you in a minute okay i did have to open eight of these painfully slow i don't know why it's so slow but whatever it doesn't matter because we just unlocked our next mythic brawler <laughs> dara is unlocked. Okay, what can I switch to? It's between these three. Yeah, I guess I'll go with Terra. That's awesome. <laughs> now we select our next legendary brawler. 
I was not expecting to unlock two brawlers today, but you know what? We make it happen, and uh, next brawler is probably going to be Sandy. I don't know. We'll have to wait. I've got lots of time to be able to choose, so that's exciting. And we have these eight new brawlers that I've all gotten within, like, the past week or so. And I don't even have enough coins to upgrade them all to very high, so it's, it's this is going to be interesting. It is day 380. A few things have actually happened since the last recording. I got a skin for Mandy out of a star drop. It was MC Mandy. Mandy, which is kind of lame because I already have Magma Mandy, which is way cooler. Also, we have the Brawl Day freebies here that we've got going on. This one's just a regular star drop and it's lagging, whatever. Okay, well, that was like way laggy. <laughs> we also got, oh, this skin is so cool. Dark Angel Colt. I know I have a skin for Colt. Do I not? That's my first skin for Colt. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's sick. That's awesome. Okay, I'm, I'm very happy with it. That's cool. Even though I don't really care about cosmetics on the account, can you really just not care about cosmetics? Like, really? And uh, this was yesterday's gift, a legendary star drop. I'm hoping for a hypercharge. That would be like dream come true or like a new brawler, obviously. It's going to be a skin for um, Cordelius. <laughs> what was I saying about not caring about uh, skins? Yeah, well, whatever. It's fine. I mean, this is the cooler option out of the two that he has, at least. But today's gift, uh, this was one day too late, is 10 gems. And uh, those 10 gems would have helped me purchase the new offer for the hypercharges, but that offer actually expired yesterday. So um, this right here is just for the, the collector's pack, the special cosmetics, which I do not care about. All I want is a hypercharge. So I am going to have to wait until the next season. But at least now I have 81 gems. And you know what? By then, maybe we'll have no, we will only have enough. Well, maybe. Actually, I will have enough for two of them. By the time that the next update lands and they release new hypercharges, I'll have gained an additional 100 gems because you get 50 gems for every one month Brawl Pass season after the update and plus those 81 right there. So I'll get two more gemmed hypercharges in the next season. So that's cool. In, in the next update, not next season. Seasons are one month long. It's confusing. Day 384, we got a mythic star drop here. Let's see what it is. It is a gadget. I don't hate this gadget. I, I'm, I'm actually okay with this. It's a duplicate because I already have one for Brock, but that's fine. Also, we're doing this uh, um, challenge right here where we get a star drop for every single win. So far, every single one of them has been, well, not useful. <laughs> well, I mean, it's resources, so it's better than nothing. It's not quite like the challenges in the past where we got thousands of coins, though. It is better than having nothing during the weekend, though, so I'll take it. It is day 35. I just finished the challenge. Yes, I literally got all six kills in this knockout match here for winning the challenge. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to carry. <laughs> but uh, unless I get something from this star drop or this next one, then uh, I didn't get anything from this, so we'll see what it is. I did get the player icon and, well, <laughs> like I said, the resources, they're at least something. So it's better than nothing. And I was going to be playing the game anyway. So, hey, little bonus. It is day 387. We are basically done with the season. I say basically because I've got another day left, but I'm going on vacation. I don't want to record tomorrow, so I'm not. Now, I have opened up a few bonus rewards already this season. So this is not my total. I opened up 27 of them on day 373 and eight of them on day 376. So that comes to a total of 75 bonus rewards plus the one that I'll get tomorrow. That would be 76 total. Now, these take a long time to open now because they made it so you can't skip through this animation for the PowerPoints. I don't know why that happened, but it's not going to really matter in the future because these bonus rewards are actually going to be star drops in the future. So this is the last two month season that Brawl Stars might ever have unless they revert the future Brawl Pass seasons from one month to two months somehow. I, I don't know if they would ever do that or not, but uh, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to, you know, fast forward a little bit so you guys don't have to painfully watch me opening all all of these. Okay, last one. That was truly painful. <laughs> I thought we did it. I pushed through it. We're a little bit closer to my next legendary brawler. And the account is in a really weird place. We also gained some trophies. So we got some power points there and some coins and 50 more uh, credits. We got some power points from Hank's Mastery. I don't know why I was playing Hank. Fang's Mastery. That was actually fun and enjoyable because I love myself. And I think that that's actually it. Now we do have some coins. It's not not nearly as many as I would like. Honestly, the account is feeling like it's in a weird place right now.
right now. Previously, I get all my brawlers up to level seven, but most of my new ones I've been leveling up to power nine and getting them a gadget just so that I could actually, why does he not have a gadget? Why are you missing a ja gadget? Oh, it's because I don't like his gadgets. <laughs> the point is I've been trying to get all my brawlers to power nine with the gadget so that they're not just completely, you know, outranked by over level brawlers. But in the last episode, I unlocked so many new brawlers. I mean, look at this. I have so many brawlers under 200 trophies and I have three of them still at power one because I don't have the resources to upgrade them. Well, okay, I do now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upgrade Nico to power seven. So that's all I'm going to do right now. It's all I can do. I can do a little bit more because we're going to upgrade Terra to level seven as well. Okay, she is at level seven. And we also have to save some coins to get uh, Colette to level seven. So now every brawler is at level seven, but I don't even have enough coins to get a gadget for all of them. Also, I would really like to max out Crow, like a lot, but... Oh, man, if, in order for me to do that, I've, I need more coins because then he would just be maxed out. All I'm missing is two gears. And it's really weird and odd that the fact that I was able to unlock so many new brawlers is what is making me feel like I just don't have enough coins. But that's just kind of how it works. So like, I think you can understand why I feel like the account's in a weird spot, especially considering the fact that I have actually quite a surplus of power points. In fact, we'll just go ahead and upgrade roughs to power eight. And uh, now I don't have coins to upgrade any more brawlers, but I obviously have have plenty of power points to do so. <laughs> I'm feeling quite starved for coins right now, but I do have plenty of brawlers, so I guess I can't really complain that much. So let's see what the account looks like after 387 days of free to play. I've got 26,254 total trophies, which is an average of 67 trophies every day. I have 15 maxed out brawlers, with the exception that I'm missing some hypercharges on them because they don't exist yet, but eight of my brawlers do have a hypercharge. Although I guess I can't call Crow maxed out anymore because I don't have, I can't buy his gear. Cranky. All of my other brawlers are at seven or higher. Most of them have a gadget and there's actually quite a few of them that are at power nine and I do have <laughs> Ruffs who is at power eight. And it's funny because at this point I have started my pay to play series and I'm still really enjoying the free to play series, maybe even more. There's something really satisfying about kind of having to earn every little bit of coins, even if you're feeling really starved for them. <laughs> and I'm really proud of how far the account has come. Like, honestly, the one thing is interesting is that I can no longer spend gems to purchase the new Brawl Pass season. So it's going to be interesting to see if buying hypercharges are what I continue to do with my gems. But so far, those offers really are the best that I've seen in the game. I don't think anything else is going to come close to them. But the weird thing is you actually are not able to purchase those hypercharge special offers unless you have the brawler at power 11. So I'm going to have to catch up with some of these brawlers to get them to power nine so that I can then start having a surplus of coins at least before hypercharges are released because I have no way of knowing which hyper charges are going to be released. And there's a good chance that some of these brawlers that I have maxed out with hypercharges will not get hypercharges for some time. So I need coins to be able to get at least one or two brawlers to power 11 once we're ready for that next update, which will take a few months. So I'm actually sitting pretty good. Make sure you subscribe for future content. We'll see you in the next video.